Hey everybody, Patton here, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of people are interested in N64 emulation on the classic systems. One of the questions though is how are you supposed to play these games when you're using controllers with limited buttons and no analog sticks? So I'm gonna go over what you need to do to play these games if you're using a controller with no analog sticks. And not long ago, I received a message from Scott C on Facebook explaining that you can play N64 first person shooters very well on these classic systems. I tried out GoldenEye a long time ago and it was unplayable, but using this method that he showed me makes this a lot better. So huge thank you to Scott C. And now this will only work if you have a controller with analog sticks, such as the Wii Classic controller or what I use, the 8-bit Doe FC30 Pro controller. So we're gonna take a look at that first. We're gonna start up GoldenEye 007. Now don't mind how the game actually runs on the system. We all know that it's really difficult to get this game to run. I'm just here to show you guys how to change your controls so that it works better with analog sticks. So we're gonna get into the first level. So if you're just using the SNES Classic or the PlayStation Classic controller, you're stuck with just this movement with the D-pad. You can strafe left and right. If you push up and down, you can look up and down. So you have no real way to move forward unless you configure the controls and the options later. And if you're using a controller with analog sticks, by moving the left stick, you can now look different ways. Moving the right stick will allow you to strafe and look. So the controls are kind of mixed up between both sticks where you can strafe, look. And now for movement though, if you push up or down on the left analog stick, you'll move forward but you also look down at the same time. This was the issue I was having when testing this game. If I move back, you move backwards but you also look up. So this is what Scott showed me. It's very easy. You're going to hit start and select to go into the RetroArch menu. We're already in the quick menu here. This is where we want to be. We need to go down to control. We're going to hit the A button. Go down to load remap file. Hit A here and you'll see you have two options, one for standard, one for FPS. Hit A on the FPS file and you'll see there is a remap file right here. Hit A once again and you'll go back to the previous menu. Now if we resume our game, our controls should be changed. Now with the left analog stick, I'm looking left and right. If I push up and down, I move forward and backward and this time I'm not looking up and down. With the right analog stick, I can strafe left and right. By pushing up and down, he looks up and down. So we can now move forward without changing our viewpoints. I'm personally kind of more used to moving with the left analog stick and looking with the right. So it's kind of reversed a little bit for me, but I think that's how this game was played anyway and I wasn't really big into GoldenEye to begin with. But now in terms of controls, this game is completely playable as to how it runs is, you know, still questionable. But you can see that we can move around just fine. Look up and down, no problem. Left and right, here's a guy, let's take care of him. Before, I couldn't even kill this guy. And I, it looks like I'm having a hard time now as well. But at least we can move towards him and, and look him in the face. Like a real man. I guess we can shoot him right there. There we go. See? It works! So again, huge thank you to Scott C for messaging me and showing me this new way to play first person shooters on the N64. But if you don't have a controller with analog sticks and you want to play N64 games, there's still a way how. So I booted up Super Mario 64, you can see here. Now I can't do much with them. I can jump and I can attack. I can hit the R button to zoom in with the camera. I can hit start to pause the game. That's it, that's all we have. So what you have to do is change the input bind so that the directional pad functions as an analog stick and then you'll have to bind different buttons to the different controller buttons that you have on your SNES Classic. So once again, we're gonna go into the RetroArch menu. Hit the B button to go back one screen, go over to settings and then down to input. If you hit up, you'll be at the bottom of the list. You want input user one binds, then hit A. So we're gonna scroll down until we get to the analog options. And that's what we have right here, control stick X and Y. If you hit the A button on this option, you'll see it says what direction you're doing. So you want the left analog stick pushing right. So to map that, you just hit right on the D-pad. So we're gonna hit A again, hit right on the D-pad. Same thing with this other one. We want left, left on the D-pad. Down to the Y axis, down for down, and up for up. So now we should be able to control the game just like this. What you can do is go back up to the options and save auto config. That'll save these controls for this game or for N64 games if you choose to do that as well. But the thing is, different games have different control schemes that may not work the best like this. So it's on a game by game basis. But if we start the game up, if I use the control pad, you can see that we can move around just fine now. We can move, attack and jump, no problem. 
but there's still some moves we don't have like the ground pound and the different camera angles. That's where all these other button options come into play. So for like the Z trigger, if we hit A, we can map that to our L button, which we don't use for anything in the game. So we hit A, hit L. And then you have the C buttons down here, which you can map to the Y or the X buttons, depending on which one you want. So I map my C right button to A, which will allow us to zoom out a little bit and kind of rotate the camera. And then for the C up button, I've assigned to X, which allows us to zoom in and then we can look around in first person mode. And then the L button functions as a Z button, which allows us to crawl if we want, or we can do our long jumps. And that's pretty much it. I hope this was Hopeful to you guys, you're able to play your N64 games a little bit better now. And again, thank you so much to Scott C for shooting me a message on how to play FPS games on N64 on the classic systems. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.